At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. I want to talk about something much simpler, which is the valuation of derivatives at a fundamental level without worrying about credit impairment and funding adjustments and initial margin and all the other stuff. And in particular, I want to address the question that is the single most commonly asked question that I get when I run my courses for LFS on, on swaps pricing, which is this issue about the impact of CSA terms on derivatives pricing. I get a lot of salespeople who are sort of vaguely aware there's some story here that you know, the pricing of deals to their customers depends on the terms of the CSA and some of them have looked a bit deeper and have been told by traders that, oh yes, it's you know, the terms of the CSA cause uh, adjustments to the discount curve, but they didn't really, under didn't really understand the answer or they wasn't very explained very well. So what I'm going to try to end up with in 45 minutes is a very clear explanation of what's going on here. Why does the nature of the collateral in an OTC derivatives trade actually move the, how does it move the discount curve and understand the magnitude of the move and, and, and what it's all about. And to get to that point in about 40 minutes from now, I'm going to do a whirlwind tour of everything we have learned about discounting over the last 25 years. Because the world has changed a lot in 25 years from discounting at interbank curves, through the OIS revolution, through uh, what we're going to talk about at the end, which is you know, the proper, the proper cross-currency full Monty, if you like. And obviously the whole story about OIS discounting and the OIS revolution starts back in 2010-ish when OIS rates essentially supplanted interbank rates as the derivatives world's key curve and in my view was the, the starting gun for the major upheaval that we've had for the last five years, which is this eyeball transition story. So I'm going to try, I'm going to, this is a very ambitious 45 minutes. I'm going to start with eyeball transition and give you my perspective on why it happened and uh, the background behind it through what discounting really is and maybe uh, discuss what, so some of the misunderstandings about discounting that exist out there and then finish with hopefully a clear summary of what modern cross-currency discounting is all about. Mm -hmm.